Alright everybody, we're going to begin this video by applying our good old thinking caps like we're back in elementary school and thinking about some of the most overhyped weapons that we have seen in this game. A decent example of this would be like the Strand Rocket Launcher. It wasn't the most hyped up thing, but it definitely had a little bit of hype because we were all like, ooh, the first Strand Rocket Launcher. I hope it's good. And it was the opposite of good. In fact, it was the worst possible case scenario. A precision frame rocket launcher with no damage perked outside of a turtle and junkie. Now that you have that thought in your mind, I want you to comment what you think is one of the most overhyped weapons that we've ever gotten in this game. Because the one that I'm about to talk today is relatively recent. It came with Season of Defiance that launched alongside Lightfall, and it's the Void Grenade Launcher, the Regnant. Now, at the time, everybody knew that heavy GLs were getting a damage buff going into Lightfall, while linear fusion rifles were getting a nerf. So some people, including myself, were like, you know, maybe it's not the worst idea on having a few good heavy GLs on standby just in case the Lightfall raid requires a spot where they're good. You never know. It's always better to be prepared than not to be prepared. And if you were like me, you spent a good amount of the week before Lightfall dropped farming a Wendigo, which is just an arc version of the Regnant. Some might say the Regnant is just a void version of the Wendigo. I did get a Wendigo with auto loading and explosive light with spike grenades but because the regnant was a craftable one with some different roles i was like oh man oh dude i gotta get this pattern and i gotta craft the girls i might need so that's what i did now this is where i begin to tell you that i spent six ascendant alloys on these three regnants okay uh, not worth it at all complete waste biggest waste of ascendant alloys i've ever used in this game which sucks because they're very useful we crafted one with the same exact role as our wendigo because hey times seven explosive light and a quicker auto-loading holster. Yeah, yeah. Crafted one with Cascade, Poignant, Envious, Assassin. I mean, hey, bro, maybe there was a situation where I was going to be using, like, a slug, a sniper, something. I, I don't know, bro. I just crafted it because crafting it. I thought it'd be cool to dump out a fat mag really fast, so that's why I crafted that one, to be honest. Then we have our Explosive Light and Envious Assassin one. I thought to myself, man, there's so many good rolls. I want to craft all of them. And after I finished leveling up these Regnants and crafting them with their enhanced perks, I've used all three of them a combined zero times. That's right. I didn't use it a single time during day one, Ron. Who? Why? What? Ron. Uh, not really. Still haven't really used that many heavy grenade launchers outside of Anarchy. Like even still, heavy GLs just they just not compete with rockets for boss damage. Maybe in like a solo scenario. But even still at the moment, heavy GLs, they're just not quite hitting. Now, I'm sure I'm not in this boat alone palling through this dumpy river. So if you guys have ever spent Ascendant Alloys on a weapon you totally didn't ever wind up using, or you maybe just did the exact same thing as me and just crafted multiple of the same, let me know down in the comments which weapon you regret spending your Ascendant Alloys on the most. Because I was looking through my vault and I was just like, wow, those three Regnants are really, really dusty. Thank you for watching today's video. Consider subscribing. GCX is this week. And if you're all going, that'll be pretty dope. Y'all be safe out there. We'll see you in the next one. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Because we'll have to block.